right here in South Africa. We've got all eyes on Cape Town and that with the mining in Daba currently underway. Policy and tension in labor relations has raised concerns about the future of South Africa's mining industry. And we caught up with the Minister Susan Shabango, who's of course South Africa's Minister of Mineral Resources, to discuss the sector's investment climate. What is key for us as South Africa is to make sure that policies which we come up with as a country are able to recognize that as a country investors play a critical role in ensuring that we achieve our own objective as government. So we cannot say our policies are such that they cannot recognize that for us to be able to be functional, for us to be able to meet our objectives, we do need investment in South Africa. Hence, we are mindful on the policies which we pass and ensuring that they continue to attract investment, but at the same time, balance that with our social needs or our needs as a country. How likely is it that there could be more regulatory changes in the pipeline? Well, I must say that uh, we will be in the MPRDA, we'll be looking at uh, proposals, not just on the basis of uh, trying to amend. We've gone to, on a various stages, we've had the act for the past uh, 10 years, MPRDA, and we thought that over the years, we also have to reflect on whether, how relevant is our regulatory framework. We've also responded to some of the challenges which were raised by courts, where we've seen the courts coming up with decisions where, for instance, constitutional court pointing out that uh, some of our regulatory framework, it's not constitutional. So we're addressing those issues, but also we've engaged with the stakeholders and over time there are issues where we felt that there are gaps and we're addressing those issues. Many people fear there may be more draconian measures and more ministerial discretion put over mining in this country. Well, many people will always be concerned what is key for them. These are proposals and it's open for everybody to make their inputs and as government or as M M M DMR were prepared to listen, they need to come forward to engage on the issues where they'll say what they think it's not fair and for us to come up with a legislative legislation which will be workable but which will also continue to attract investment. In, 19, in 2004 we had less companies, mining companies, we have more. 1,600, I forgot the initial number. So it shows that there is good investment. It is a country for growth and potential. The key issue is that these are proposals. How do they run away when they have not engaged? But I must also say to you, the response on the legislation arises on the basis of the roadshows which have done before where investors themselves raise concerns. So if I'm not going to, be, to, to change the legislation and respond to them, where they, we thought that the issues they have raised were legitimate and on the basis of that we had to respond. So I'm saying for now there are proposals and I don't understand when you haven't even looked at the act, how do you run away?